ETC, we start with one of our charts. Just I want to give a quick update. And first, when the price was here, we mentioned how we can look for trade. We get the sharp move, the price drop. There was no trade setup. And right now we're looking at this. Surely if this one turned to correction for one more drop, following by divergence based on one hour chart, we can look for better trade setup because based on four hour chart, we can, even we, 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 we will see the breakout of the correction in the bigger picture later, we will explain about that. But if, even if we don't need to wait for the next drop before we see the reversal, since we see the market start to move, if we get any opportunity for buy from here, also we'll take it, but we need to see the continuation as a sharp move anyway. We start with daily chart. You want to see what we are we have been looking for. First of all, if we move to daily chart, we mentioned we're looking at this one. If we get any opportunity for buy, we'll take it. And the targets we're looking for based on daily chart is 65 flowing by 77. All right. But the only thing is right now, based on daily chart, we don't have any trade setup for buy. And mostly we have to look for trade based on lower time frame. And if we move to forward chart, this is what I explained based on one hour chart. If I see one more drop, we need to see the breakout of this correction because the only thing is whether we should consider this one as a part of the correction or not. Anyway, if we see the next drop as a sharp, we see the confirmation we are out of this correction. Any dive, we can refer to the indicators as a divergence, any reversal from there, we will take the trade because if the price can drop as a corrective mode, move, then we are within this extension move, right? Uh, then in that case, same, we're looking for reversal, but how deep it can go when we can see the breakout of the previous stop, previous low, right? By the way, right now, what we explained in my last analysis, I mentioned if you get one more drop, then any reversal, this is the best option. And if the price reverse from here, we're considering we are trading within the correction. That means a short-term trade, all right? By the way, if you get any opportunity for buy from here, we will take it and we need to see the breakout of the stop. Then from there, we can look 44 following by 49 as a target. But if the price reverse as a reverse, we didn't see the breakout of the previous stop or it turns to a corrective move, then we should be aware for the next drop and the next drop can be as sharp as what we have here, All right? That's why for me, I prefer to see the one more drop, not the corrective as a sharp. Then from there, I will take the reverse. So this is the best option. Again, this is the best option. It doesn't mean we cannot look for buy from here. But if you want to look for buy from here, we need to be quite careful because we are not looking for the reversal as a corrective. We're looking for the reversal as a sharp move. How to look for trade? At this point, we don't have any trade setup. At least we have to see the flag before we take the trade. Having entry above this at this point, I won't suggest it. Anyway, looking for buy. The only thing is how we can get the trade setup. In this case, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.